Hey guys, Ben Smith here, after some vlogs, and welcome to a new video. This one is going to be me covering my time during my placement. So, sit back, grab a snack, grab a drink, kick your feet up, most importantly, have fun, like and subscribe down below, and of course, check the links in the description. There's TikTok, Instagram, results, and Twitter, alongside Simpson Vlog, Simpson Plays, sorry, <laughs> SimpsonPlays.com, and of course, my Twitch, where you can catch me live streaming games like Elden Ring, Call of Duty, and hopefully in the future, Hogwarts A Legacy. This one is going to be me talking about my placement like I have said and it's mainly going to be a short video hopefully and it obviously it will be on YouTube if you want to catch it in the future. Um, for those who are on YouTube if you're wondering what I'm on about I'm submitting this to my uni as well for other people who are looking to go on placement as to see the positives that they may gain despite potentially not doing what they want to do. Now as a software engineer or I'm on the course of doing computer science for games. Obviously, I wanted to go into a, a software placement. Now, I did get one the first grand round at Jaguar. Unfortunately, with COVID, I was I was unable to do it and remained at uni. Because I'm on the integrated master's um, course, I had the opportunity to do I had another opportunity again to get placement. This time around, I was unsuccessful in getting a, a software engineering or development role and took the opportunity to work in business systems at a water energy company. Now business systems encompasses looking at the ERP system which is like a system that you know manages stock and, and the movement of, of goods to customers in between company warehouses as well. Also looked at the CSM system which is customer service management and e-com which is e-commerce you know stuff like the websites and and stuff now it did start off like that and um it continues like that for a short while but on, on the complexity of their erp system meant that i was only coming in as first line to that and whilst i had more more to do with the e-commerce with the website stuff with my background in being in, in as a software developer, I was able to help out more on the, on the website stuff and the CSM stuff. And um, they eventually moved me over to IT support. Now this is obviously getting further and further away of what I wanted to be doing. But it did provide good experience with customers. And if I do go on to be a, a game developer, I'm going to potentially, if I get high enough up, want to be talking to customers i.e. to end users or to people who would help produce the game you know to get investment for the, whatever company i'm working for or whatever game i'm working on and to do that you need to be able to talk to people and working as support means you're going to be inter i had to interact with a lot of users and you know be able to talk with through their problems and help help them and sort them out as well as alleviate their problems if they couldn't be sorted straight away you know help them you know get through the stresses of not being able to do their work or not be able to do something. So that provided a good experience for me. Um, later on in the placement, around halfway through I'd say, um, I got the opportunity to be a software developer uh, working on ServiceNow. Now for those of you who don't know what ServiceNow um, involves, ServiceNow is a kind of a, well it's become more, of, at the time of I started being, it was a sandbox kind of all round do everything good you could develop a csm system itsm system um, project management system on it. it is basically a way to integrate uh, a group of people working through something now for us in the it division i was mainly working on our it help desk our it help desk is the way um, customers our own internal users log their problems whether they've got a problem with their laptops their screens with software they want software they want a new laptop they log tickets onto the onto the help desk which is a website portal and we are able to see it on our end on the it website portal version which is how we work through tickets and liaise with customers if without calling having to call them up and stuff like that so obviously it existed before i came there i was simply meant to move what had already pre-existed onto a newer better and cleaner version with a new ui and that has since become my part-time job um, since leaving placement 
Um, I am still working part-time as now a full-time developer, no longer doing IT support. I'm working part-time as a, a developer once a week to continue to support that system, um, to train users up and to help move the system forward. Um, the company is now also looking at um, expanding their use of service now, not just for IT, but for the actual business itself with a potential, with potential. So that could be something that I could get involved with as well. And if I were able to go back on as a full-time developer after my uh, year in uni and master's degree, then that could be something that I could do. I could see myself doing that. I really did enjoy working on that. So the main thing to take away from my experiences and the main lesson to be learned is sometimes you don't get what you want in life. You don't get the exact path you want. And no matter what you want to do, say you want to be you know, a software engineer and you, you're going to something slightly different. You go into IT. It's not software, but it's still IT. And that did give me the opportunity to then become a software developer. It could, it might not still have happened that way. It might have just stayed doing the business systems and IT. And um, whilst that not would be what I want to do in the future, it would still have provided me a good foundation in, you know, problem solving, in customer customer service, you know, talking to people, good interactions, teamwork, and it still provided the basic foundations that you need to go into work, you know being able to follow procedures, being able to work with a team, being able to tackle problems on your own and with other people. And it still provided all those foundations. And it also provided opportunities like becoming a software developer, like taking on other small projects of my own volition, you know, showing my own initiative, doing things to help out and, and, and learning other stuff that you may not have known. You know, I, I got the chance to, to learn some stuff about IT infrastructure and, and uh, how how the business use connects the different servers across different sites together. Um, I even took part in in, in moving a server um, to a different site and stuff, and that that was that was hectic, but surprisingly fun despite the hecticness and time constraints and chaos of it all. It was a good lesson opportunity to get involved in, and that's another thing you should take away from placement. Try to get involved in as much and anything as you possibly can anything that interests you anything you you that might be a curiosity even if you don't see yourself ever doing it again get involved because you never know what other opportunities that might open for you or if you do end up liking it and want to do that in the future and you can never know without trying so that is what i would say to you so guys that's the end of of the video um for the uni side of things and I would say that potentially if you're a uni student or if you're going into uni, try to get a one on placement with a placement gap year in it or, or even take a gap year and, and try and do something, some sort of placement uh, slash work experience, whatever you want to call it, whether you get paid or not. Hopefully you do get paid. Most, most of them, they do pay you something, minimum wage, whatever it is. But the main thing to take away from it is experience and lessons learned. And I cannot stress to you that opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Okay. As I said already, get involved in anything. Any opportunity is a good one. And the stuff you will learn, the experiences you'll be having, just being able to put certain stuff down on your CV that you said, yes, I've done this, this and this already at the, even while being in uni is just incredible on a CV. And especially if you can say, like I will now be able to say the fact that, yes, I did development. As I, I did development during placement. And not only that, whilst doing the master's degree, I'm now a part-time developer. I wouldn't have been able to say that if I'd um, probably gone to Jaguar. I, I doubt they would be keeping me on part-time. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, I doubt I'd be important enough, but because I went to a, a, a quote unquote smaller company, um, I got this opportunity now. So sometimes 
life has a strange way of giving you exactly what you want. Even if you don't know exactly what you want. Like, so, like I said, you need to get involved in anything and everything you possibly can. And that will hopefully help you realize your career or not. You know, maybe you, you, maybe you do get exactly what you wanted uh, on placement and maybe you don't actually like it. It's better know now than in 20 years. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the end of that video. And it's been a better one, a somber, less somber one than, than the Monday one. And I hope everyone who, who deeply cared about, about the, the Queen is all right and not taking it too, too heavily. Because we will move forward and this country will continue, continue to be, even if it seems like its heart is gone. Now, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was a, a good a good video for you guys and, and helps you go, yes, I want to do placement because you really should. I'm going to leave you and love you now. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. Hit the bell notification to it with everything here on some, some vlogs. And of course, check the links in the description. There's TikTok, Instagram, Vizzle and Twitter. Alongside some Plays, SimpsonPlays.com and of course my Twitch where you can catch me live streaming games like Elden Ring, Call of Duty and hopefully in the future, Hogwarts Legacy. Until next time guys, Peace.